YouTube land, my name is Wildboy5699 Welcome back to another video Now I was going to do a Let's Play video today of a game that I've been wanting to play It's called, uh, about the back rooms because I've been obsessed with that for some reason Uh, but I couldn't get it to load on my computer I had to download some whatever game and software or something on, Which is weird because I downloaded a game on Steam I downloaded it, so everybody click on the link and it's good to go But it asked me to download this stuff and that thing wouldn't work and the game wouldn't work So I said, fuck it Plus, it is nice out right now, not too bad I think it's about 65 degrees Winds blowing, it's not freezing, not wind chills or anything. So I thought I would go for a walk, and I'm already out of breath, I'm already 45 seconds in. I would go for a walk and go down to work because I'm obsessed with the raspberry floats right now. I tried one when I was closing up for the night, and I'm like, damn, that shit's good. So I'll, I'm gonna go see if they have any more, any more flips. But I wanna get back into Let's Play videos, but people are like, Especially some people are like, oh, you're just doing not original stuff. And I haven't done a gaming video in, actually at all in 2023, actually. So I want to get back into it. But a lot of the stuff I've read on forums from fans that talk about me, uh, they don't like that type of content. That's why they don't get views unless it's like a very popular independent game and stuff like that. So I don't know if I'm going to get back into it or not. Because there's a couple of games I have in mind. Well... No games that I want to play, but of course, the game I wanted to play just for the heck of it was like a 30 minute backroom game. And I couldn't get it to load on my computer, so I said, just fuck it, I'll just do a walking video. So I got a couple of videos planned. I am going to do a vlog, one more update video before it gets closer to Missouri Comic Con. They have still not released the photo op time schedule, which that's on another website called Celebrity Photo Ops, and they go all around the country for conventions to take pictures which is hilarious and I read through the stuff and I'm talking to video you know uh, it's just a quick procedure you come in take a picture and you get the picture and you're done it's like that but they're like if you want to go meet a celebrity at their booth you go in their booth so in my plan I did buy a photo op which I said I would have recommended let somebody you really hold somebody you really like and I did I bought a photo op for Steve on Steve Burns from Blue's Clues on Saturday I don't know what time he's going to do, but sometime on Saturday. But the plan is when I get there, when the doors open at 10 o'clock Saturday morning, like hopefully they'll have the uh, 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 exhibitor, uh, the booths and all the stuff, the, the showroom floor uh, schedule or whatever picture to see who's where and where. So my plan is get there around 70, right there, an hour, hour and a half early get by the door because I know those comic cons supposed to be bigger than North Coast Arkansas this is for the entire state of Missouri and they have big names you know like Steve Burns, Sean Austin stuff like that my sister is gonna give me money for an autograph for Sean Austin so I'll go away in line and be like hey Sean Austin my boss wants to get an autograph from Bobo Boo Boo Stewart because she couldn't get an autograph when he was at the Northwest Arkansas Comic Con but he's gonna be at the Missouri Comic Con I told her she's like oh I am getting an autograph of Boo Boo Stewart this time she says Boo Boo and I say Bobo so I'll have to ask him, is your name Bobo or Bobo? So, and then I'll Sean Austin, another person I want to meet is Grady Lyle, voice actor, who's going to be there, which I said that I'll be excited. That'll be excited to meet her. A couple of animated people, I still don't know many animated, animated people other than Jesse Grill, Jamie Marchi, Monica Real, Jade Saxon, Eric Val. Of course, I'm watching an anime now that stars Eric Val. I'm only mentioning him because he was at the Northwest Arkansas, my first Comic Con 2023, and I had no idea he was, so I'm watching this anime called How to Summon a Demon, How to Not Summon a Demon Lord, and the main character, Demon Lord, was play is played by Eric Val. I'm like, shit. And not only that, she, he, was in that, that also Jade Sachs. I'm like, man, if I would've known that beforehand, I would've gone up to his booth and, you know, asked, watch Jade Sachs, I'm like, cause I've heard a lot of cool things about her, you know. Hopefully the Oklahoma Comic Con, they bring Jamie Morici because she is from, Oklahoma, she attended Oklahoma University. Maybe they'll bring my Monica Real. I know both of them were at the first Comic Con for Northwest Arkansas and Jade Saxon. Heck, I'll even meet Jesse Grilly, even though she's a, even though they're transgender and everything. But heck, I'll, I'll meet them because <laughs> they got a great sense of humor and stuff like that. So, but I mean, I'm about to walk up to work and get a flip, maybe a scratch up. No, I pushed my luck. I already got my I got my money back, so that's very rare. So anyway, we're up at work. I'm gonna go see if they have any flips. Let's go see. One eternity later. Oh, good news. They had three flips left and I got all three. I don't even know why. I, I was going to throw them out one day. I've been wanting to try these for a couple of months and just never got around to it. I've always been obsessed. I've been really addicted to cake donuts, especially vanilla. And now I'm starting to get better than those. I tried one of these and I thought, damn, 
those are really good. I say it's a raspberry cheese flip, but I can definitely taste the raspberry, but I cannot taste the cheese to it unless they feel a little bit of cheese. The cheese is like throwing me off because of the baker having to make donut with cheese and stuff like that. It's like blah. So there's three in there. They usually make about four or five every morning. If somebody gets there about four o'clock in the morning and then try to get all the donuts out by five o'clock. I said, good thing we're not an actual donut place. As I know some donuts place in Fort Smith, they open about four o'clock in the morning and stay open until about noon, 11. I know there's this awesome place in Fort Smith called Smith's Donuts. And they open about four o'clock and their donuts are so soft and fresh. And if it's your first time, they get you a free dozen donut holes. So if you're in the Fort Smith area, go to Smith's Donuts. It's over there by, uh, over there by uh, the tag office. So it's very, very good. Tell them it's your first time to get a free dozen donut donut holes. And they're soft and everything too. So I'm probably gonna go back. Well, I didn't go. I may go one day. It's my brother works in Fort Smith now. And it's on the way. So, but usually I just give my dad my card and I'll go he'll take me to go to McDonald's or something. But I went one day on payday because I have the bad habit of waking up early on payday because there's money in my pocket. I'm gonna switch over this real quick. But what do you gotta do? So good news. I did want to say that Friday, we're, we're going to the Missouri, Springfield, Missouri, that Friday, the day before, because if we were going to go out there that morning, yeah, we would, my dad would have to find something to do. So he checked in a hotel room at four o'clock. So I, we scrounged, we were able to get another, find a chief room about two miles from, from the Expo Center to that. So it was like two bucks as we were staying. I, was gonna, I booked a hotel right across the street and you know, I, Always, when I book a hotel, I always go to the nice hotels. Like, since I usually go to the embassy for the convention ticket, it's right connected to that, so that's really cool. But, so we're gonna go up there that Friday night. We may go to Bucky's because they opened one down there. May go to the Bass Pro Shop. I've been to Springfield. I went during a trip to Branson for spring break and we went to Springfield and it was on the way. So, thumbs up for that. But we're going to Bucky's. Since it opened up, my sis sister's boyfriend proposed to her at the Bass Pro Shop. So that place is huge. First floor is like the store and then it's got a museum and everything. There's my shadow. But anyway, we're gonna go up there, get up shower Saturday morning. I wanna get there about nine o'clock because it's, it's gonna be packed. As long as the weather's like this and no snow last minute, we're good. Regardless, I'm still going to Springfield. Springville, as long as that roads are drivable, I'm going because you got to go up through Northwest Arkansas, I-40 on on, on uh, I-40 on the way to Fayetteville. You can stay straight to get a straight stop off the Joplin and then get on the interstate there, or go through the little towns like Branson and everything. My dad's like, no, those roads are way too curvy. So we're gonna do a straight shot of I I Interstate 40 all the way up to Fayetteville, Bentonville, Joplin, and then head on over. So I'm trying to convince that we go to Twin Peaks for lunch up in there about the promenade because I love the promenade. But anyway, my arms are getting tired of switching every five seconds. I'm going to end the video, go home and eat my flips and watch my shows. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, rate with a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, check out my social media down below. Thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you all in the future video. Take it easy.